Welcome, my friends, to episode 42 of CBR. And we have what you can see is the legendary, the enigmatic, the amazing, the fabulous, the sensational Nintendo 64. Came out in the year 1996, I believe. It was a, a good good year for the 10-year-old me. I can uh, remember my dad just bringing this home, which was quite rare. He didn't fucking parents on fucking working class estates didn't just turn up with consoles but on this occasion this is the uh only console i can remember that happening others were were uh, for christmas and shit like that but i can imagine what had happened was this this console was coming out and me and my brother basically fucking pecked my dad's head until he got it uh i can remember him actually saying oh go and, there's a cake in the boot go and get it out of, the, out of the boot of the car and we went out and she there was a motherfucking nintendo 64 yep Nice story. I hope that brightens your day. Dopass N64 logo. Let's see what we got. The machine surpasses 64-bit 3D graphics. CD quality sound. Awesome running time speed. <laughs> the controller. Revolutionary 3D dildo-shaped controller. Play the game while you play with yourself. That's what it should say. Revolutionary 3D controller. Unprecedented precise motion 3D degree game movements. Contents, N64 control deck, 3D hand controller, supply, power supply, aerial switch box, aerial extension cable, RF cable, Nintendo 64 RF modulator. Ooh, nice logo. The PAL version, the one that will always be your friend. Let's have a look up top. Nice, some nice pictures there. Killer Instinct, Mario 64, Shadows of the Empire. That sticker. Ooh, we got a, a, a sticker there. Interesting. Oh, the same, same business. Oh, the seals. We like some seals, don't we? Oh, the seals. What's on this side then? Last side. Oh, we're opening. We're opening. We don't. We're not ready for that, are we? Okay. Number one, multi-purpose 14 button control provides ideal layout for any type of game. Yeah, of course. Two, precision control, ergonomically designed controller. <laughs> How much did you pay the people who designed this? Featuring 14 buttons and analog control sticks. Although the, un uh, the trigger underneath was dope. Save your moves. Optional N64 control pack sold separately provides custom memory custom memory for each player oh thank you thank you can't we just do an overall one four multicolor choose from a variety of colors sold separately i think i've had all of those colors at some point over my time maybe not red because fuck red we don't do that shit do we right let's have a look on the back of this legendary machine right here we go wow look at all of that color we zoom in a little. Hey, hey. There you go, nice gentle zoom. The machine experience a quantum leaking, leaping graphics realism with the Nintendo 64 system, real time rendering, and awesome anti aliased graphics. Fuck's that. Create a heart pumping virtual gaming world experience. More freedom, more adventure, more power, and more fun. Whew, pumped up. The controller, the N64 controller, gives you the complete control over every move. Some the the unique analog control stick allows you to move in three D in three hundred and sixty degrees. There's a quick action trigger on the bottom and a multi directional control pad. You don't get advertisement like that nowadays. It's like, oh look, you can move in three hundred and sixty degrees. Well done, Nintendo Hotline. We are open three hundred and sixty five days a year to help with all of your gameplay questions. To call. To talk to a games counsellor, that's not, is that a games counsellor, yeah. Call that number, open those times. These times may vary, motherfucker. All right, seal of assurance. Nintendo, original Nintendo, seal of quality, beautiful. Ages eight and up, make sure you're not younger than eight, although, my, do you know what, my daughter's four and we rock the N64. All right, some games. Mario Kart 64. Choose from eight Nintendo celebrities in this thrill. We don't need to read all this shit. Lilac Wars. Dope ass game. Motherfucking Fox McCloud flying. There can be only one. Do you know what I'm saying? Star Wars Shadows of the Empire. Possibly, maybe in my top two Star Wars games I liked. Uh, was it the Rogue Squadron ones on the fucking GameCube? They were dope. 
Golden Eye, the original good uh, multiplayer shoot 'em up. Mario 64, last game I completed actually, I completed that maybe a year ago or so. Wave Race, Wave Race 64, this was dope. I remember the second one on the GameCube being doper as well. Diddy Kong Racing, really enjoyed that. I'd love to see some sort of remake of that uh, in, you know, like with a crossover with Mario Kart. That'd be dope. Help Diddy and his friends defeat the evil space bully, Wizpig. Fuck Wizpig, man. Who is this guy messing with our heroes? Nice. So, yeah, the legendary, amazing, probably, possibly the best console ever. Possibly. Look at it. I mean, look at the, it. looked dope. I mean, the controllers were a bit wank, but the console looked dope as fuck. One of the slickest, sexiest, futuristic fucking contemporary <laughs> consoles ever nice all right splendid uh i hope you've enjoyed that episode what was it 42 42 of cbr maybe yeah hope you've enjoyed it so for now like comment subscribe have a nice day